Hey everyone, it's Nona. I'm doing another Dollar Tree haul. It's a pretty big one. I think I'm going to break it up a little bit so my videos aren't so long. Um, the first part I'm going to do is the frozen food section and the refrigerator section. I have two of these thermal bags. Um, they can keep food hot or cold. I bought them at the Dollar Tree specifically to store my frozen food because I have to drive 35 miles to the closest Dollar Tree to me. So I didn't want my food to unthaw. So I got two of those and they're full. So I'm going to start out with... I got these country fried steaks. There's one per package. And they look like this. And for a dollar, I just thought, what the heck, I might as well try it. It says serving size is one steak. And there are 480 calories. So, wow, that's a lot of calories. But if I eat it with a salad, then I figure it would be okay. The next thing I got are these Dad's Root Beer Cream Bars. There's five in the package, and they're only 60 calories each. And I love root beer floats, and I assume that these will taste similar to a root beer float. Sorry my lighting is so bad. I'm tilt the screen back a little bit to get a better lighting. Um, then I bought these raspberry cream bars they're from the ba the brand arctic breeze and there's five bars in this and they're 60 calories each also so yay and lastly on the ice cream end i bought these welch's concord grape bars um there's five of them in the package and they only have 45 calories and i can just imagine what frozen grape juice would taste like so I think these are going to be super yummy. And I saw the Frugal Nista haul those, and she said that her family likes them, and, you know, they're really good and refreshing for the summer days. So I picked those up. I picked up two of these vegetable and chicken pot stickers. And they're from the, the brand Tasty Select. It says they're pre-cooked. Um, there's a two servings in this bag, 160 calories per serving. The directions are right here on the package of how to cook them. And they just, I love pot stickers, so I thought, what the hey, I'll try them. And that's my dog Raider barking in the background. He likes to get on camera somehow, even if it's just his voice. I bought these two banquet uh, cherry berry pies, and <clears throat> I've had these before, um, and they were a lot more expensive when I bought them at Walmart. But you can microwave them, but I think they're better if you just go ahead and bake them in the oven. And then put like a scoop of vanilla on top. And they taste pretty much just like a slice of regular pie. Next, I got this bag of sliced peaches. I, I just like fruit. And these are actually cheaper than buying fresh fruit. With, I know they're the closest thing uh, nutritionally to fresh fruit. So, it's a... Uh, 12 ounce package so I like those my cousin had this kind of Jenny O turkey bacon at her home and I tried it and it's actually pretty good it tastes it doesn't taste like bacon to me but it tastes good and it's it, it gets crispy, just like bacon, and um, to me, it tastes like smoked meat. Uh, my little niece actually ate some, and she said it tastes like beef jerky to her. So, anyways, I picked those up. I 
picked up these El Monterey Extra Extra Large Burritos. This is so big it could be a meal uh, for a buck. The purple package is beef and bean, and the orange package is bean and cheese. And I picked up, I think, four of each of those. Bye bye. Okay. On to stack number two. I picked up these sweet potato curly fries, and they are by the Winding River Farms Company. And this is a one pound bag. And I love sweet potato fries, so. <clears throat> I just thought I'd try this brand out. I mean, for a buck, they're, they're like three bucks at my grocery store. So, that's a pretty good bargain. Bargain, excuse me, if they taste just half decent. I'm just pulling out the rest of these big burritos and getting them out of the way. Like I said, I bought, I thought I bought four of each, but it looks like I bought three of each. So, that's more than enough. I bought two bags of these Jennifer's Garden Spring Rolls, and I've heard so many people hauling these and saying they're so good. Um, <clears throat> you can microwave, bake, or fry them. There's 10 pieces in here, 8.8 ounces. Um, <clears throat> it says servings per bag is 5 and 110 calories per serving, which I would eat this whole package for dinner. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So, I'm not even going to going to go there about the calories. <laughs> but it would be like 5 50 for the whole pack. So that's not too bad for a dinner. It's not healthy or well balanced. But hey, I bought this pack of strawberries and it's by... TJ Farm Select. It's 12 ounces. Some more spring rolls. I'm just picking them out, picking them up out of the bag. Okay, I bought some steaks. <laughs> and I know you're going to be like, steak from the Dollar Tree? No way. But I bought four. And they are boneless ribeye steaks, and they're 3.5 ounces each, and they look like this in the package. So, it says that uh, one steak is uh, a serving, and there's 140 calories in this package. So... I picked up four of those. I will let you know how they taste. I saw someone else haul them. That's how I even knew to check for them at my Dollar Tree. And I'd seen that several people had commented on her video where she had uh, hauled them and said that they weren't any good. So, I couldn't take someone else's opinion. I had to find out for myself. So, I bought them anyway. Then I picked up another bag of these sweet potato fries. These aren't the curly. Get rid of it now. These aren't the curly ones. They're the shoestring. And they're by the same brand, the uh, Winding River Farms. Um, picked up a bag of TJ Farms Select Blueberries. It's also... It's 10 ounce. The other two fruit were 12 ounce, but it's a 10 ounce. Okay, and then I picked up two of these John Morrell hot smoked sausages. I like to get the Zatarain's rice, like the red beans and rice, or the gumbo, or the dirty rice, or what have you. And I like to cut this up when the rice is almost done and add it to the pan. And I think it's really good. I've never tried this brand except the Little Smokies by John Morrell, and I really like those. So... 
I'm hoping these will be similar. And then I picked up just two more of the John Morrell's. These are Polish sausage. They're not the hot and spicy. So, and lastly, for the refrigerator freezer section, I picked up some cheese. And I got these three packages of cheese. Um, this one is white cheddar cheese with black pepper, and this one is pepper jack cheese, and this one is white cheddar with Mediterranean herbs. And each package is six ounces each, and it's by the Silver State brand. And for a buck, come on, I, what can I say? I'm a sucker for, for stuff that costs a buck. And then lastly, I picked up this Sunny Acres 16 slices of Swiss cheese and just took this white slices and I've actually tried this before and I really liked it. I even like to do like um, a grilled cheese sandwich with this with some red pepper jelly so it's kind of sweet, spicy and tangy from the cheese so... Yeah, I'm a fat girl. Love to eat. <laughs> so anyhow, that is my freezer and uh, refrigerator section. Uh, the items I got today from the Dollar Tree. And I will see you guys later in my next video. Bye-bye, Dollar Tree balls. Remember to please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I really, really, really would love to have a following that would, you know, it would let me know that people were interested in watching my videos. Um, and if they're not, then I just, you know, I have seen no reason to make them. But I love watching Dollar Tree hauls, and so maybe someone out there will like mine. <laughs> so I'll see you later, Dollar Tree hauls. Bye-bye.